So today I'm here on my Ohio property, putting out some mineral on my mineral licks. Um, I'm gonna get ready and put my cameras up here in July. Um, and it brings up an, an interesting topic that I get a lot of questions on. Um, I can't tell you in the course of a year how many people email me pictures or send me a private message on social media pictures of bucks that, that uh, they've got on their trail cameras and they want me to age that buck. I just got to say that I don't believe it is possible to age a buck from a photograph. Now, sure, you can tell yearling bucks and you can generally tell two-year-old bucks, but once a buck gets three years old, unless you really have history of that buck, watched him grow up from the time he was two or so, it's really impossible to say. And I know there's going to be guys argue with me about this, but I want to throw out the this interesting angle that supports my position. You know, I raised captive deer for 25 years. And in that, cap in that time, I probably had over 200 captive bucks that I took care of on a daily basis, all the way from the time they were fawns till they were four or five years old. And I would have visitors at my farm and I would ask them how old they thought a certain buck was. And I guarantee you, most of the time, people got the guess wrong. And that's looking at a live animal, not a photograph. Photographs can be really deceiving. They typically make a buck look bigger than he really is or smaller than he really is. And just based on my experience with the captive deer and also bucks that I've watched grow up, if you see me, whether it be in a magazine article, a video, a seminar, whatever, if you see me give the age of a buck, then I've got history with that deer to, to back up that age and why I think he's that age. But just to take a random picture of a buck that's three and a half and older and say he's four and a half or he's five and a half, totally impossible, I guarantee it, I'd put money on it. I'm confident of it. You cannot age bucks from photographs. So we've all heard those experts say that you gotta look at a buck's back and see if he's got a sway back or he's got if he's deep chested or his belly sags or some, some guys will say you look at their neck, how full their neck is, and I'm here to tell you every bit of that is pure garbage. Garbage. And let me give you a good analogy here to compare. Bucks are very individual just like human beings are very individual. We all know that kid that in the eighth grade was just hairy as an ape and basically was a, a man in a, or a kid in a man's body. And then we know the guy in our class that uh, when we graduated he was a little runt but when we come back for our 10 year reunion, he's one of the biggest guys there. And just as humans or men mature at different rates, so do bucks. And I've seen it with the captive deer and I've also seen it with wild deer that I've tracked. You just absolutely cannot age a buck that's three and a half and older through a picture. Um, a perfect example from my own farm from a couple years ago uh, my good friend Terry Peer, the co-host of uh, Chasing Giants with me. Terry shot a buck on my farm that uh, I would have swore was a three and a half year old. And one thing Terry does is he always sends in the teeth from his deer to, to get them aged to know exactly how old they are. And uh, Terry sent the teeth in off that buck I thought was three and a half. That buck ended up being five and a half. Uh, another buck Terry shot on my farm a few years ago was one I called the old guy. And I knew through trail camera history that that buck was at least nine and a half years old. Well, Terry sends in the teeth off of that buck and finds out he's 10 and a half years old. So I'm telling you with the experience I've got with the captive deer and as well as the wild deer, you absolutely cannot tell a buck's age from a photo. I don't care what anybody says, I'll, I'll, I'd bet money on it. So uh, anyway, uh, you guys can stop sending me your pictures now. <laughs> But uh, no, I appreciate all your correspondence. I hope you like these videos. And uh, you know, please, please like it and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you got questions, you're more than welcome to send them my way. But as far as aging bucks, you just can't do it. You know, after filming that segment on aging bucks, I really got to thinking about it because I get so many questions 
so many pictures sent to me from so many people in the course of a year that, uh, you know, I, I know there's, there's really sincere and genuine interest by other deer hunters about the age of the bucks that they're hunting. You, you know, I think a lot of times we get too wrapped up in the age of a buck, the score of the buck, and we, you can actually lose the fun, you know, of hunting. So what I try to recommend people do is, if a buck makes you happy, go ahead and shoot him. Um, it doesn't matter how, what, what age he is, because, you know, on social media, I see guys aging bucks all the time, and I, I bet you most of them are wrong more often than they're right, as far as the age of the bucks when they're given these ages. So, um, you know, there, there's instances uh, you know, where a, a landowner that's really serious about managing his property for bigger deer, you know, he, he needs to factor in age on the bucks he shoots. Uh, it needs to be part of his management plan. Going into the season, he needs to know which bucks that, that he's going to target um, and which ones he's not. And a lot of that is going to be based on age. But for the average deer hunter, I don't think he needs to get all wrapped up in age. There's just there's so many different scenarios, you know, that, that no two deer hunters have the same situation. Um, one guy might have to hunt public ground. Another guy has private ground, but he's sharing it with, uh, you know, a couple of other, other hunters. Um, one guy, you know, he can take off the whole month of November to deer hunt from his job. A another guy, he may only be able to take off, he, he may only get one, one day a week to hunt. Maybe Sundays is his only day off, and that's the only day of the week he can hunt. You know, so each situation is different. Right. And I think sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to follow the trend in the industry or the, the deer hunting community um, when we ought to just keep the fun in it. Um, so don't get so wrapped up in age. If you're, if you're one of those hunters that doesn't have a, a property that you're really trying to micromanage for the biggest bucks possible, if a buck makes you happy, go ahead and shoot him. I almost started bawling coming up here.